I want to take a moment to congratulate our class of 2021 Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Master of Science in Criminal Justice, and Master of Science in Education graduates. You have achieved so much um, over the course of your studies and you have done so in a pandemic. Congratulations on that. My name is Melissa Gavin and I will be your MC for tonight's event. Um, I work as the Graduate and Collaborative Program Manager with the Office of Professional Program Support here at UW Platteville. I just wanna remind you of a few things as we go ahead and get started tonight. This event is being recorded, including the chat. So we ask you to please be respectful. However, we would encourage you to post congratulatory messages to your graduates. Um, it's always great to see those messages and the graduates have definitely earned those messages. You may also use the reaction buttons that are found below. Um, that those can be used to silently celebrate. And after names are read, we do encourage individuals to unmute, clap, cheer, and applause for the graduates. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'd like to introduce Travis Olson, the advisor for the Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice students to read the names. Thank you, Melissa, and congratulations to all the graduates. Jeremy Brown, minored in business administration, military veteran from Webster, Wisconsin. Shakaris Crane, business, ad business administration minor from Albuquerque, Ooh. New Mexico. Okay, baby. Yay. 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 All right, girl. Yes, mm -hmm. KK. Love you, girl. Love you, K. Ooh. You did it. So Congratulations, girl. Ayo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gabriel Kaponki, minored in business administration, military veteran from Stoddard, Wisconsin. Wang Lee, minored in business administration from, from Kakana, Wisconsin. Michaela Udegaard from Fremont, California. Thank you, Travis. Now I'd like to hand the floor over to Cheryl Fuller. She is the program coordinator for the Master of Science in Criminal Justice program. Cheryl will be giving a short congratulatory message and then reading the names. Congratulations, MSCJ students and all the 2021 graduates. Can you still hear me, Melissa? Yes, my okay, very you. good. You're good. Sorry about that. Um, MSCJ students, we spent a lot of time together over the last few years discussing academic career goals, selecting courses, selecting emphases, reselecting emphases, searching for a research agenda that would best suit your career goals. It's been a long route, a long, hard road. Um, and then finally, we did the capstone paper. We selected topics, research problems. Um, we, we worked together on a proposal. It was a lot of work and you did it, you did it. Proudly you did it. I'm so happy to see you be so successful at this point. Um, some of the descriptive words and phrases that come to mind as a result of your wonderful milestone accomplishment, dedication, perseverance, commitment to time, resources, energy, finances, great sac sacrifices were made, goal attainment, goal achievement, and folks, you have advanced your multitasking still skills to the highest level, especially during COVID, juggling family, work, school responsibilities. Amazing, it's just, it's just amazing. Um, as a result, you are rewarded and awarded the MSCJ degree, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. You have advanced your research, writing, and communication skills to, to a skyrocket high level that will open many doors for you in the workforce, especially the criminal justice field. What a great accomplishment. I'm sure your family and friends are overwhelmed with pride and happiness for you. You have reached a huge educational and career milestone in your life that will lead to advancing in your current position. But remember folks, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. As Byron Paulson, an inspirational writer said, graduation is not a single point along the continuum of life. Instead, graduation is a series of continuing steps 
where additional education and life experience culminate in a life driven by a self-sacrificing desire to, to contribute to the well-being of those people who are around us. Education is something we have to keep pursuing day after day. That is what makes us successful. That's what makes us happy. And that's what make makes us a contributor to the society in which we live. Once again, graduates, congratulations. And I have to get back in because I cannot see the screen. Oops. Oh, here we go, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, oops. All right. All right, so I'm gonna read the names now of all these wonderful people. Um, and Melissa, I can't see the screen, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read them according to the order. Um, and folks, these, these CJ students are, many of them are in the professional field. It's so impressive to see what they do. Um, I'm gonna read them briefly, and maybe if I can give you just a little bit background on their, what they do in their employment, that, that would be very impressive. I'll make it pretty short, but um, the first person is, is Kali Barry Bow, who is who works with disability folks um, at New Hope Center from Billion, Wisconsin. Another wonderful graduate we have is James Cars from Racine. James works at Gateway Technical College. He's an LE trainer. Um, Tim Kennedy is Kenosha, Wisconsin, military veteran. We have a lot of vets in the program. Um, he's a, his experience as a senior federal air marshal. Sarah Colling Marquette, graduate student. I'm working with her to continue her graduate student either with another master's degree or PhD. Amber George, Freedom, Wisconsin. She's an alumnus. She's a police, she is a police chief. Um, Calvin Henderson, Greensboro, North Carolina, military vet. He works, he's a director of admissions and human resources for College of Engineering at North Carolina Agriculture and Technical State University. You mentioned she'll graduate in the summer. She's from Michigan City, Indiana. I'm, I'm working with her on a, the final capstone paper this summer. Angela Jacobson, Pelican Lake, Wisconsin. She's a behavioral and health director, health wellness center, Forest County Community. Glenn Janzer Singler. Wisconsin. He's an investigator, youth aid officer. Uh, Maxie is a human service worker, started in Milwaukee. Allison Netzel of Plymouth. She's with the Department of Corrections, Kettle Morin Correctional Institution. Lee Neville Neal is out of is Madison. She is a JD attorney and she's with Wood County, she's Wood County District, uh, County District Attorney's Office. She's also a vet, military vet, and Pi Kappa Pi Honor Society. Brandon Ornstein is, is Cedar Rapids, Iowa, U.S. Army Infantry, Iowa Army National Guard. Anthony uh, Perkey out of Minnesota. He's a military vet. He is a polygraph examiner, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency. Um, Aubrey Rush is an intake caseworker, works with child abuse, Brown County Child Protection Agency. James Shepard, Greenville, Wisconsin, military vet. He is, has a lot of experience as a probation program with the Department of Corrections. Matthew Straw is a G4S security solutions supervisor. So he does a lot of private security activities. And Daniel Whipperford is a police officer who is moving up quickly. And Daniel, I can't remember if you are a Verona police officer or a Madison police officer, but I know you're a wonderful police officer in that general area. Congratulations to all the graduates, especially to my MS, the Master of Science Criminal Justice uh, students who have worked very hard. Um, and I see a couple instructors, um, Nancy Gardner, thanks for coming, and Mike Clemp Nork, thanks for coming. And if I missed anybody else, they're out there, but those are your instructors that help you through the process. Um, so congratulations again, I'm very happy for you, and we will be in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Now it's time to transition on to our School of Education and the Masters of Science in Education. 
I'm going to introduce Ann Krebs Byrne, and she is the coordinator for the Master of Science in Education, Adult Education and Human Services Emphasis Areas. Ann? Thank you, Melissa. Hi, everybody. I'm happy to be here today to honor and acknowledge the hard work of our graduate students from the School of Education. Today, we recognize our graduate students who work to complete the requirements for the Master of Science in Education degree. These students have worked on their coursework while balancing the demands of full-time jobs, raising children, and managing other responsibilities in life. And as you know, these were not easy times. With little to no warning about the changes that would come overnight from the pandemic, suddenly our graduate students were finding themselves in uncharted territory while working from home, using technology in ways that they had not done before, looking after little ones and needing to help their school-aged children with their own homework our graduate students still had to find time to do their graduate coursework. Students, for some of you, since you started your master's degree programs, you planned weddings, then postponed weddings, and then planned them again. Um, some of you had new babies that came into the world in hospitals where COVID prevention protocols made a new experience a little more stressful and unfortunately for some, family members passed away, and yet you persevered in your coursework. This ability to adapt to changing times, to manage your time when there is so much tugging at you, and to press on when times are difficult will come in handy throughout your life. The self-discipline and determination that you found while completing your master's degrees are just as much part of the learning as your new professional skills that you developed while in your program. Your master's degree will allow you to step into leadership and new areas of service. Let this master's degree be a step, not the final step in your own professional development as you continue to innovate and learn from the work that you do and then share it with others in your field. On behalf of the director of the School of Education, Jen Collins, and the instructors and staff in the Education Office of Special Programs. I wish you all the best, and I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds for you. I'd like to present the following candidates for the Master of Science in Education degree. Brian Butteris, Adult Education Emphasis from Mount Horeb, Wisconsin, and proud UW Platteville alumnus. Chelsea Clark, cross-categorical special education emphasis from Muscaday, Wisconsin. Again, a proud UW Platteville alumnus. Tawan Conway, counseling emphasis from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Megan Cooley, elementary education emphasis from Lancaster, Wisconsin and proud UW Platteville alumnus. Natasha Geyer, Adult Education Emphasis from Platteville, Wisconsin, and UW Platteville alumnus. Craig Hendrickson, Adult Education Emphasis from Cuba City, Wisconsin, UW Platteville alumnus. Andrew Nucky, Middle School Emphasis from Platteville, Wisconsin, and UW Platteville alumnus. Brandon Koziel, Counseling Emphasis from Plain, Wisconsin, a UW Platteville alumnus. And Brandon, thank you for your military service to our country. Antonia Van, Human Services Emphasis from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Congratulations to you all and back to you, Melissa. Thank you so much, Anne. And last but not least, we also would like to introduce our program coordinator for our Masters of Science in Education, English Education Program, Wan Wan Hu. Good evening, graduates and colleagues in the US. Good morning, cohort 16 students at UDA Pathville Master of Science in English Education China program. 
On behalf of the MSEE China program, I would like to congratulate all graduates today on your successful completion of your academic program. Dear co uh, Cohort 16 students, I would like to take a moment to share my memories with you. I remember reading your application materials two years ago. I remember meeting you in person in Wuhan in summer 2019 when you started the program. I remember teaching you synchronously via Zoom summer 2022, uh, summer, two, summer 2020 here in my office. I remember wearing this program t-shirt at our last Zoom class meeting and reassuring you that each of you will receive a program t-shirt along with your diploma from Europe upon your graduation. And I remember chatting with you our, at our monthly Zoom meetings this academic year. It has been a pleasure and a privilege watching you grow academically and professionally over the last two years. Dear cohort 16 students, you are a very special group. Due to the, this global pandemic, you completed your coursework except your first semesters virtually. Regrettably, some of you were not able to spend this spring semester on the UV campus as you originally planned. Your professors and I applaud you for your adaptability, persistence, and hard work. We also applaud you for overcoming all the challenges you have faced and supporting each other over the last two years. We are all very proud of you and your accomplishments. Congratulations on completing a major milestone in your life and career. Cohort 16 students, your professor and I sincerely hope that you will be able to take what you have gained in our program to your future career as an educator in China. Some of you are in-service teachers, others are pre-service teachers. You currently live in nine cities all over China. Despite the differences within your cohort, you join our program with the same goal of becoming a more effective teacher. We hope that our program has lived up to your expectations with regard to your goal. Whether you will continue with your current teaching position or whether you will start a new teaching position, we encourage you to continue improving yourself as an educator. We who are here at the Uta Platteville are more than happy to continue our support of you wherever you are. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Cohort 16 students, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing our program at Uta Platteville. Thank you for your trust in our program and you the You will be joining the MSE China Program Alumni family. With 15 of you, the MSE China Program Alumni family will have 395 members. We look forward to a reunion in summer 2022 at South Central University for Nationalities in Wuhan, China. We also look forward to your future visits to you the when opportunities arise. Cohort 16 students, most of you joined our program because of your personal connections with our alumni who have benefited from our program. We would like to ask you to continue your support our program at Utah Platteville by introducing our program at Utah Platteville to anyone interested. Lastly, Cohort 16 students, please join me in thanking all your professors for their help and support thanking South Central University for Nationalities for their partnership. And last but not least, my, all my colleagues who have made today's celebration possible. Thank you. A total of 15 MSC China program graduates are recognized today. The graduates are Zihao Dan, who is originally from Wuhan, China. Yu Ting Duan, who is originally from Beijing. Yeah. Wei Qi Huang, who is originally from Sichuan province. Jing Kun Jiang, who is originally from Guangdong province. Man Li, who is originally from Wuhan. Mm. Jia Yi Liu, who is originally from Wuhan. Hey. Jing Xin Liu, who is originally from Beijing. Xiao Xiao Liu, who is originally from Zhejiang province. 
Yu Xiluo, who is originally from Yunnan province. De Kui Wang, who is originally from Hubei province. Feng Xiao, who is originally from Wuhan. Fei Fei Yang, who is originally from Zhejiang province. Peng Yuan, who is originally from Guizhou province. Hong Yang Zhang, who is originally from Beijing. Yuan Yuan Zhang, who is originally from Wuhan. Once again, congratulations to cohort 16 students and congratulations to all graduates today. Thank you. We'd also like you to take a moment to thank all of our faculty, advisors, staff, program coordinators, and of course, family and friends who are here to support the graduates today. Without the support from these individuals, these graduates would have a lot harder of a time completing their education. So thank you for all of your support for these students. We'd also like to ask everybody to take off their mute and just celebrate and cheer on the graduates for all of their hard work and congrats and um, hard work and perseverance to earn their degrees. So congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations, Shakaris. There you go, everybody. Congratulations, Shakaris. While this ends the more formal um, aspect of the presentation, we'd encourage you to stay on, chat with your instructors, fellow classmates, and the UW Platteville staff. We'd love to hear what you plan to do with all the free time that you have now that you're graduating. Let's hear your plans, Kay. You did it. You're here. Let's hear you. I'm going to sleep. I just said, I thought y'all could read my lips, but I'm going to just go to sleep. That's it. Period. Take your nap, sis. Does anyone have any advice for any of the graduates who are upcoming? This is a spring and summer celebration. So some individuals still have coursework or another class to complete or even future thinking. No? No advice for future graduates? About, about what do you have to say, Amber? Amber George. How about Glenn? I don't know where they went. Okay, those are my two students, Amber and Antonia. Antonia Van, do you have any advice for anybody? I, one thing is to keep on going, and just as long as you can put one foot in front of the other, is to keep on going. And I am so thankful for being able to think critically and to just put your best foot forward and That's give great. your best shot. I love that. Thank you, Antonia. Well said. Well, it's time to celebrate. So go out and get a pizza. No beer though. <laughs> pizza it <laughs> is. <laughs> And Anne, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so very much. Oh, that's sweet of you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Yep. Nice job, everybody. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Enjoy your summer. <laughs> Unless you got to hand in a paper yet, but enjoy your summer. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much for coming, and we hope you enjoyed the night. Thank you.